you doing there folks baiters here for another top 10 this week we're going to be looking at the top 10 weapon mods in skyrim special edition all of these mods are available for pc players and the links will be in the description now if you play on xbox keep an eye out for this perky symbol so you'll know whether or not that mod is available for your console now pull those tidy whities up your ass crack point your eyeballs at the intro and let's get to average bait baby At number 10, we have the Valiant Norbo by Corvalho1. Now, the only thing worse than having a shitty looking bow and arrow set is being chased by a bear that has a key to your apartment and knows where you live. And that would only be slightly worse. This mod is the answer to that age old question Can I make a bow that doesn't just look like a 10 year old tied a string to a broken tree branch? The answer is yes, and this weapon mod is proof to that fact. This mod adds a delicious bow and arrow set that is so easy on the eyes. It's weird being sexually attracted to an inanimate object, but I'm not gonna let society tell me who or what I can love. The first time I laid eyes on this bow, I knew. I knew that someday, someday I would be lubed up, lying face down next to this bow. This mod adds a new custom bow and arrows to the game, including quiver and projectiles. To acquire these items, you can craft them under the steel category at the forge. The mod author did a great job on the textures and design for this weapon, and the fastidious details solidify its craftsmanship. When I use this weapon, I feel like enemies just want to be shot in the face by my arrows. Like they see me walking down a card path, and they just run out in front of me and say, Hey, can you please put your arrows inside of me? So I do. Now this bow and arrow combination is a wonderful addition to Skyrim, one that makes exploring the world feel so much more satisfying. I rate this mod one photo of the fastest bike on Earth. When that propeller starts, it can reach speeds that could almost be considered dangerous. At number 9, we have Draugr Weaponry by Destero. I don't know about you guys, but I actually feel bad for the Draugr. I mean, they look anorexic as fuck. Like they haven't eaten in like a hundred years. They probably smell like a dead fart too. And if I had to guess, I bet if you kick them in the armpit, they'd probably cry like a little bitch. With that said, I figured they really just needed a win. So what better way to show the Draugr you care about them than giving them some new epic weapons to use when they're chasing you down a dungeon? This mod ameliorates that by adding some badass looking Nord weapons to the game. Now these weapons come in two variants. There is a replacer variant as well as a standalone variant depending on whether or not you want to keep the old ancient Nord weapons in the game. It's sort of a before they were cool sort of thing I guess. Now the replacer version is really where it's at because that will actually put these weapons in the hands of the Draugr which is kind of the point. The replacer version will add a lot more weapons to the equipment of the Draugr, which also includes hammers in different variants. The only weapons of the Ancient Nord this mod doesn't touch is the bow. There are also three shield variants that are added, one that replaces the normal iron shield, but only in the leveled lists of the Draugr, and another two shields that are added as standalone variants, which adds more to the game even though it's a replacer. I rate this mod the one expression that just says, I cannot believe it's not butter. It's just unbelievable. I really cannot believe this is not butter. At number eight, we've got more weapons, please, by Relinquish. Have you ever said to yourself, fuck, I wish there was more weapons in Skyrim, that way I could show them off to Delphine, and maybe she'll show me your titties. Well, boom, this mod's got what you need. Once you install this mod, Delphine will be calling you nonstop like a girl you just started dating who has serious boundary issues. Holy hell, what the hell are you doing in my closet? I miss you, I missed your face. For those of you who are interested, the original mod author was Gosu, and this mod, like many others on this week's list, is a port from the original Skyrim. However, the new mod author did an excellent job bringing these weapons to Skyrim Special Edition, as they look and function perfectly in the world. This mod adds 4 daggers, 12 one-handed swords, 8 two-handed swords, 1 one-handed hammer, 1 two-handed hammer, 1 battle axe, 1 great axe, 1 bow, and 1 shield. All of these weapons, as well as the shield, are standalone additions to the game. Now, if you want to get your hands on these excellent weapons, they can be forged in the steel category, so you'll be able to access them pretty early in your playthrough of the game. Now the weapons all look sexy as fuck and don't break immersion at all. They definitely feel like something the Dragonborn could have stumbled upon during his adventures. Each and every one of these weapons give me a raging hard on to the point where I can't wear jeans anymore while I play Skyrim for fear that I will break my dick. I rate this mod one photo of what happens when you don't take your eye exam seriously. Is somebody there? I thought I heard a noise. 
At number seven, we have the Witcher Silver Swords by Kimono. Now this mod was ported to Skyrim Special Edition by TFBO, who did a great job bringing this mod over for everyone to enjoy yet again. This mod adds the type of sword that just commands respect. Like when you wear this sword in your travels, people will just stop and stare. Sometimes they'll even go as far as to wink and give a thumbs up. This mod adds two new swords to the game, including a one-handed sword and a two-handed greatsword. The design is based off the swords The Witcher uses in the Witcher video game series. Everything about these swords screams outstanding, from their design to their textures to the scabbards to the little details that went into every inch of these weapons. Certain weapons can tell a story, and if these weapons had a story to tell, it would be the story of a little girl growing up in New York City with very little resources who finds her true passion in life, which is to be a dancer. But first she'll have to overcome her fear of heights because her dance school is located on the moon. Now I never said the story would make sense, but that's definitely the story that these swords would tell. Now both of these swords are standalone versions and can be crafted at the forge under the steel category. So you'll need the steel smithing perk to acquire these bad boys. But trust me, all the random tail you're going to get when you have them will be completely worth it. The last time I used these swords, a girl came up to me at a local nightclub and said, Hey, I heard that you were using the Witcher swords in your playthrough of Skyrim Special. And to that I responded, yes. And then she asked if she could suck on my wiener. So these swords are basically a sure thing. I rate this mod two people reacting to a naked guy doing karate in the middle of the street. I'm not sure who to be nervous for here, the guy or oncoming traffic, because that guy really knows his stuff. Have you seen his kicks? I mean, they look ferocious. At number six, we have Emar's Edge by QR Vizon. Are you the type of person that's really into purplish bluish jewelry? Like the first time you saw the Titanic and that old lady threw the heart of the ocean overboard? Did you freak out and throw your fucking TV through the window? Oh, are you out of your fucking mind? Bitch, you better know how to swim! I know I did. Now, if you're really into having a blinged out sword to sport around as you travel the hilltops of Skyrim, then this mod has everything you need. Now, this is yet another excellent port from Skyrim Original. This mod adds a one-handed steel sword with a silver hilt to the game. Now, the sword is craftable at the forge, and it is temperable at the grindstone. It has the same weight as the steel sword, and the same damage as the vanilla ebony sword. Now this sword looks amazing. The bluish purple jewels coupled with the engraved blade makes the stuff Greymane does look like a toddler's brain fart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can build you a sword, but it's gonna have to be out of Lego. Now this sword has a really unique design and doesn't look like any other sword I've seen in Skyrim. It's very immersive and is the type of sword only those of noble birth would be wielding in battle. Which is great for the Dragonborn because he has the most noble blood of all, that of a dragon. This is an excellent weapon mod that really captures the essence of Skyrim while still making something completely original. I rate this mod one baby that knows mixed martial arts. Okay, tap out, Whiskers, or I'll break it. Damn you and your pride, Whiskers. Just tap the mat, it's over. At number five, we have the Long Claw by I'm Some Dave. This mod adds the Long Claw, which is loosely based off of a real sword, and also loosely based off of the sword Jon Snow throws around in the hit television series Game of Thrones, which is also a series that is based off of a number of books, or so I'm told, by people who can read. But honestly, I doubt it, because who even writes books anymore? Probably those sad people who don't own a TV. Now there are two versions of the Long Claw that can be added to the game. There is a version where in order to obtain the Long Claw, you'll have to complete a mini quest. In order to start that mini quest, all you'll have to do is kill a wolf. Not any specific wolf, just a wolf really. This quest is just really into killing wolves, I guess. When you kill the wolf, something will happen and the quest will be underway. Follow the quest and at the end, you'll be rewarded with this sexy bastard. The second version is for people who hate looking or waiting for anything and just want immediate satisfaction. This version will allow the player to craft the long claw under the steel category at the forge. Now both versions contain one-handed and two-handed variants as well as different visual styles to appeal to everyone's eyeballs. This is an excellent addition to the game and I would highly recommend this mod for anyone's playthrough of Skyrim Special Edition. I rate this mod two kids who have not yet mastered the art of standing up. I think this looks right, but it definitely doesn't feel right. At number four, we have Weapons of the Third Era by 747823, who's not to be confused with his younger brother, 747822. Weapons in Skyrim are really one of those things you can just never get enough of. Getting more weapons in Skyrim is like getting everything you wanted for Christmas, and then just as you're about to put the tree away, Santa Claus falls down your chimney and throws a giant bag of money right at your face. 
This mod adds tons of new weapons to the game, including new katanas, long swords, tantos, and much, much more. All of these weapons are craftable, most of which can be crafted under the steel category at the forge. They have all been added to multiple leveled lists, so you'll be able to find them on fallen enemies throughout the world. All of these weapons are immersive and fit in perfectly to Skyrim's lore. These weapons are all great quality with outstanding craftsmanship and great custom textures. Now this is one of those mods that once you have it installed in your game, it's very difficult to picture Skyrim without it. So even though the original mod author is no longer actively updating his mods anymore, at least Coffee Cup was able to port it over to Skyrim Special for everyone to enjoy. I rate this mod the one expression everyone makes when they fart on a packed elevator. Oh, I really hope nobody heard that or felt that on their leg. At number 3, we've got Zikoru Swords Collection by Zikoru. Now here's some swords you can tell your kids about. And if you don't have any kids, well then you can kidnap some kids and tell those kids about them. Because these swords are fucking incredible. These swords make me want to wake up a baby and yell at it. Wake up you little baby. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Have you seen these swords? Lick them with your eyes. And tell the baby knows nothing but these swords. Now this mod adds five new swords to the game as a standalone that all look so realistic. They'll make you want to LARP with your cousin Eddie at the public park. Even though those bully kids always throw shit at you guys. These swords truly do look fantastic though and all come in insanely detailed textures. The five swords are all uniquely named with their very own look and feel. The swords are Mars, Venus, Luna, Terra, and Sol. They all come with their very own scabbard as well, so you'll look fashionable when you're walking around defenseless. Also, they all come in one and two hand variants, so you can really get your fuck on no matter what your playstyle. Unless you're into magic like a weirdo, then these swords are all pretty fucking pointless, aren't they? Now, if you want to get your hands on these fuckers, they can all be crafted at the forge under various categories. Every one of these swords looks like they were crafted with extreme fastidiousness, bringing every detail to life. These weapons will make you feel like you can actually reach out and touch them. Or kiss them. Or fuck them. I rate this mod one lady who's trying to drink an entire swimming pool. Okay, four gallons down, only 660,000 left. I got this. At number two, we have Isamiriel's Lord of the Rings Weapons by Isamiriel. Now, are you a fan of Lord of the Rings? Are you the type of person that has a life-size poster of Samwise Ganji on your bedroom door, so that when you close it, you never really feel alone? Does the sight of Bilbo Baggins just make you want to dress up like an elf and rub your nipples? If so, then this mod should be right up your alley. This mod adds a bunch of weapons from the movie and book series The Lord of Rings to the game. Some of the weapons that are added include the sword Frodo uses to cower like a bitch every chance he gets. There is also the Witch King Sword, the Wrath Great Sword, Elven Short Blades, Elven Longbow, Sauron's Mace, and much, much more. All of these weapons look amazing and have excellent textures as well. This mod author did a great job bringing these weapons to life, not just in Skyrim, but as a whole. These swords are very realistic with high resolution textures and reflections in certain lighting. They also all come with their own unique scabbards which are so nice they'll make Frodo pull down his pants and spread his ass cheeks apart. I'm gonna do it Samwise Ganji. I'm gonna spread them for everyone to see. No Frodo, don't do it. Basically the entire movie in a nutshell. All of these weapons are craftable and upgradable, which makes them really fit in nice to the game. These are some of my favorite swords for Skyrim, and I am honestly stoked that they were ported over to the special edition, as I feel it would be tough to have a good playthrough without them. Each weapon looks different and really stands out in the world. Even if you're not a fan of Lord of the Rings, you can still be a fan of these weapons. When I use these weapons, I feel like a kid who just had his first boner. Wow, I really didn't know it could do that. I rate this mod one photo of how countries that don't have any guns fight wars. Okay, so best two out of three then? And at the number one spot, we have Unique Uniques by Insanity Sorrow. Now, one of the most disappointing things there is in life is when you think you're getting something completely unique, but it turns out it's just like everything else. It's like when you think you have this really unique girlfriend, but then everybody laughs at you because apparently she looks exactly like every other blow-up doll, except she has real human hair glued to her head. It's easy for people to laugh when they don't know what true love really is. I used to comb her hair every Sunday morning. She might very well have been the love of my life. So it's disappointing to say the least. Well, before this mod, Skyrim was a lot like that. In the sense that when you found a unique weapon, they looked just like the other weapons in their class, except they had altered stats. Which was really just not acceptable, and almost made you feel like you didn't find anything unique at all. Especially since you can use enchanting and tempering to improve the stats of pretty much any vanilla weapon. Well, this mod sorts that in the best way possible. This mod adds a custom version for almost every unique weapon in the game. So they actually look unique when you find them. Each one of these weapons looks incredible and makes you want to keep 
keep all of them in your inventory once you find them. The unique items that are affected by this mod are Angus Bane, Angie's Bow, Bloodthorn, Bowler's Oathblade, Dragon Bane, Kavozin's Fang, Pale Blade, Red Eagle's Bane, The Long Hammer, Baldur's Lucky Dagger, Windshear, and the Shield of Solitude. This is definitely a must-have mod for anyone's playthrough of Skyrim, regardless of whether you want new weapons or not. This actually makes the uniques unique, which improves immersion, and makes for a more convincing playthrough. I rate this mod one dog that went completely insane from being cooped up in the house too long. All work and no play makes Scooter a no fucking dog. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning into another Top 10. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to smack your penis against that subscribe button and come back for more fun next time. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for the latest updates on our newest content. The link will be in the description. Hope to see you all again next time for another Top 10.